Hi and welcome to the little poker stop. I'm Kirsty. And I'm Nick. And today we are going to be opening some Sword and Shield Rebel Clash Triple Booster Packs. Let's get started. I'm also a massive fan of the Pokemon pushes, as well as collecting the cards and everything else Pokemon related. Um, so I'm always keeping a lookout for any new plushes to add to my collection. So this turned up this morning. So I thought I would open it on the channel with you guys and let you guys take a look with me. So let's get to opening. Yeah, let's see what, we, uh, what we've got in this package here. It's from Hello Japan. We ordered it, um, I think it's only a week and a, a, bit, a little bit ago. About a week and a half about ago. About a week and a half. It said it was meant to take around about three to four weeks. But it's arrived much much quicker Ooh. than that so can't fault the delivery speed and there it is there we go let's just get him out of the little bag <laughs> and what's that one it's giraffe rig it's a little giraffe rig that's right one of my favorites like i think i've mentioned before i do have a soft spot for all the hoofed pokemon there we go there we are there it is that's uh what's that um label say pokemon fit pokemon fit Japanese there, from the Pokemon Center. Yep. Itself, which is awesome. And as you can see, it's got the little little smiley <laughs> face on the tail. Cute little smiley face. But that actually looks very, very nice. Very good quality little giraffe rig there. It's about 10 centimeters uh, tall, I believe. It does look very, very well made. Very well made, very detailed. Very, very nice. Very impressed with that. Does he get a boop on the nose? Boop. He gets a boop. <laughs> he gets the boop. Giraffe Ray gets a boop on the nose. There we go. <laughs> it looks awesome. It does. Very nice. I'm very impressed with that. You did a great job there, Hello Japan. As always, we're going to put the link in our description. Yep. So you can visit them yourselves if you wish to purchase a plush or any other merchandise they offer. And yeah, here we go. There's Giraffe Ray. There you go, say hi everybody. <laughs> right, so as you can see, the pack comes with a lovely shiny Umbreon coin. Very nice and shiny. Holographic. Again, love those hollows, even in coin form. Oh no, very, very pretty. Very pretty, love it. And of course, I do love Umbreon as well, so definitely going to be one of my new favourite coins. Lytton's not sure about it in the background. <laughs> 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 we, we like you, Lytton. Yeah, we like you, Lytton. <laughs> And of course, we get this lovely Way Crazer promotion Ooh. card as well that's included. Very nice and shiny. Look at that. It's also holographic as well. Follow on that. It's lovely. It's a lovely 3D effect. So we have a HP of 130 and we're normal time. So we are Sky High Pokemon and we have two moves Jaw Lock, which does 30 damage. Join your opponent's next turn, the defending Pokemon can't retreat. And Power Blast, which is 120 damage. Discard an energy from this Pokemon. Her weakness against electric type and resistant to fighting type. So it flies in the ozone layer way up high in the sky. Until recently, no one had ever seen it. Ooh. And it's illustrated by So Haro. No, So Taro. So Taro, sorry. That <laughs> took a bit of a while to uh, focus there. So yeah, very beautiful yeah, illustration a, and card there. It's a lovely card. He's your boy anyway. He is. He is. He's my boy on Pokemon Go. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll move on to the pack openings now. Okay, on to the first pack of Sun Shield Rebel Clash. Let's see what we get out of these ones. I'm hoping and praying. We've had a lot of dupes recently, so yeah. <laughs> come on Rebel Clash, give us some luck. TCG there. Okay. And we got a grass energy to start with. Please be lucky, grass energy. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh. Ooh, a Pelipper. There, evolves from Wingull. HP of 120, it's a water type. It's coasting across the ocean there. Ready to go and drop off some mail. Or in a TV series, drop off uh, Team Rocket. <laughs> yeah, do you want to get stuck? Gizmos. He's a water bird Pokemon. Two moves, wing attack, 50 damage, and power cyclone, 110. Move an energy from this Pokemon to one of your bench Pokemon. 
It's weakness to electric types and resistant to fighting. It is a messenger of disguise carrying small Pokemon and eggs to safety in its bill. It was illustrated by Eri Yamaki. Very nice Plipper. What's next? Bronzong. Evolves from Bronzor. HP of 130. Steel type. It's a Bronze Bell Pokemon. It's just, just there proudly in the forest there. <laughs> I think that's a forest. Would you it say a forest a or grass? Field. Hmm. But it's standing there proudly nonetheless. It is. Two moves, Smack, 30 damage, and Gyro Ball, 70 damage. Switch this Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. If you do, your opponent switches their active Pokemon with one of their bench Pokemon. Weakness to fire type, a resistant to grass. Some believe it to be a deity that summons rain clouds. When angered, it lets out a warning cry that rings out like the tolling of a bell. Mm -hmm. Illustrated by a Mahu. That's Bonzong. We got a trainer item a nugget. You can play this card only if you draw it from your deck at the beginning of your turn. Before you put it into your hand. Draw three cards. Mm -hmm. A nugget. But not a chicken nugget. Not a chicken nugget, no. <laughs> now we got a bit of. HP is 60. It's a tiny pigeon Pokemon. And there it is with his friends there. One's asleep. One's, I don't know what he's doing in the back. Some grass. <laughs> and that one's just going, yeah! <laughs> Typical pigeons. Yeah, two moves, chirp. Search your deck for up to two Pokemon with fighting resistance. Reveal them and put them into your hand and shuffle your deck. A razor wing, 20 damage. Weakness to electric type, resistance to fighting. Where people go, these Pokemon follow. If you are scattering food for them, be careful. Several hundred of them can gather at once, just like real pigeons. You get mobbed. And illustrated by Ryota Marayama. Next up, a Galarian. <laughs> Daru Makai, the cute Australian guy. <laughs> HP of 80, a water type. It's a Zen Charm Pokemon. And he's, uh, he's not too sure, or he's skidding about there a bit, or. <laughs> he just doesn't like the freezing cold. I do believe that's the one that's fire. Normally, uh, yeah, Normally, yeah. but the Galarian one, <laughs> he's cold. So one move, Ice Punch, 30 damage. Flip a coin, if heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. It's a weakness to steel types. And it lived in snowy areas for so long that its fire sack cooled off and atrophied. It now has an organ that generates cold instead. So there you go. Mm. It doesn't says it there. And illustrated by Akira... Kamiyama. So we don't know if he's happy about it then. Yeah, I'm not sure. Doesn't look happy. <laughs> and a Hatana. HP of 60 with a psychic type. And it's a calm Pokemon. Oh, So it's just calmly going through the forest there. Yeah, it's having a nice time. Two moves, find a friend. Search your deck for a Pokemon, reveal it and put it into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. And side shot, 20 damage. Weakness to dark types, resistant to fighting. Via the protrusion on its head, it senses other creatures' emotions. If you don't have a calm disposition, it will never warm up to you. So you've got to be calm and gentle when Hatton is around. As illustrated by Amina Nikai. That's a nice Pokemon. Yeah. And Saiba! Yeah, Saiba! <laughs> it's HP of 80, as a grass type. And it's a Mantis Pokemon. He loves swinging those sides around. He really does. He bloody <laughs> loves them. <laughs> I've never known anybody as happy as him swinging those sides around. The two moves, Sword Dance. During your next turn, this Pokemon's blinding side attack does 70 more damage. And a blinding side, 20 damage. Weakness to fire types. Its two sharp sides are more than just weapons. He uses them with dexterity to dress its prey before eating. Oh, lovely. <laughs> uh, illustrated by Kaichiro yeah, Kai Itu. Or Ito. Yeah, say that. Hey, nose pass. HP of 80, fighting type. It's a compass Pokemon. It's pointing the way there with his big red nose. <laughs> nose pass. It's a two moves, tackle, 10 damage. Roll and tackle, 50 damage. Weakness to grass type Pokemon. He uses powerful magnetism to drag its prey towards it. It's also been known to pull in metal, which it collects and uses to protect itself. It's illustrated by Miki Tanaka. That's big red nose. <laughs> <laughs> and now Morgram. 
HPN90 is a dark type and it evolves from Impidimp. It's a devious Pokemon. I He's can going, imagine. Going about his <laughs> devious little impish ways there. Yes, out in the night. It's got two moves, Bite 30 damage and False Surrender 60 damage. This attack's damage isn't affected by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. It's a weakness to grass. When it gets down on all fours as, it, as if to beg, for forgiveness, it's trying to lure opponents in so it can stab them with its spear-like hair. Oh! You don't seem very friendly, Morgan. No, you do not. <laughs> hey, it's illustrated by Hitoshi Ariga. He did a lovely job on Morgan there, as devious as he is. Yeah, you captured its personality well. And the final card. Oh! oh. Sandaconda oh. V! Banging! Banging! HP of 220, it's a fighting type. And look at him spitting out that sand there. Beautiful. Big boy, I do like Sandaconda though, but look at that. I love the hollow effect. Two moves, Sand Eater, 30 damage, attack a fight energy, attach a fight energy card, but he, 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 he will be attacking. He will be attacking, <laughs> he will be attacking from your discard pile to this Pokemon. And Sand Breath, 220 damage, discard two energy from this Pokemon. Weakness to Grass type. When your Pokemon V, of course, is knocked out, your opponent takes two prize cards. It's illustrated by Akai CG Works. Beautiful card. Look there. at that lovely card. His eye shines as well, though. Like, oh, that's blinding that. I like that. That is a beautiful card. Right, lovely way to end that first that pack is. there. Let's move on to the second. So, on to the second pack. Let's see what's rating us in here. Let's get this open. A nice Rilla Beam on the front of that pack as well. Oh, yeah. Hopefully, it'll bring us some more luck. Fingers crossed. Lovely Sandaconda V card in that last one. Come on, Rillaboom. Rillaboom, look. <laughs> Rillaboom V, you'll be good. That'd be nice. That'd be lovely. <laughs> so, starting off with a Energy Electric Gold. And then we have a, another Energy Card, a Capture Energy, which is a special Energy Card. So as long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides special energy. So when you attach this card from your hand to a Pokemon, search your deck for a basic Pokemon and put it onto your bench and then shuffle your deck. Oh, and we have Charger Book. So it has a HP of 90 and is electric type. It evolves from Grubbin and it is a battery Pokemon. And again, we have some lovely artwork there. Yes, look at the little seed down there, look. <laughs> he is, looking at a little seedling. Very interested in it. He's yeah, it is. investigating what's going on there. So we have two moves. Charge, search your deck for up to two energy cards and attack them to attack. I'm doing mm -hmm. you now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> attack those in this Pokemon. Then it's your for your deck. Lightning Ball, which does 70 damage. We're all about battling. We are. <laughs> <laughs> so we're weak to fighting type. And while it's durable shell protects it from attacks, Charger Bug strikes at the enemies with jolts of electricity discharged from the tips of its jaws. And the lovely illustration is by... Masuka Kazu Fukuda. Lovely Charger Bug. Ah, we have Shuckle. Oh, Shuckle. He's so cute. <laughs> has a HP of 80 and is a grass type and is known as a mold Pokemon. Oh, okay. And again, we have a very beautiful energy, very beautiful energy, very beautiful <laughs> illustration. He has got a lot of beautiful energy. <laughs> He's got a beautiful energy. Little shuckle, right. <laughs> beautiful energy. <laughs> We've got two moves, very picking and mind. So very picking, shuffle up five basic energy cards from your discard pile into your deck and for bind, which is 50 damage. Flip a coin, if heads your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralysed. And you have a weakness against fire type. And it stores berries inside its shell. To avoid attacks, it hides beneath rocks and remains completely still. And the illustration is by... Hayo Gonosuke. Which I may have said wrong, and I do apologise if I have. <laughs> but yeah, yeah beautiful illustration. Ooh. Next we have Rolly Coley. With a HP of 70 and an AR fighting type. My class is a cold Pokemon. Again, a very lovely Ooh, illustration. Yeah. Really captured the burning. 
yes. like fiery aspect of it. And of course the lovely kind of like cool light emitting from the cave behind yeah, as well. So we've got that. two very contrasting light colours there. We have one move, which is Ram, which does 10 damage. And we have a weakness against Grass type. So most of its body has the same composition as coal. Fittingly, this Pokemon was first discovered in coal mines around 400 years ago. That amazing illustration is by Misa Susui. And a few by that artist, aren't we? We have, yeah. Very good. And we have Stunky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Stunky. We have a HP of 70 and we're a dark type. And of course we're classed as stunk, stunk, skunk Pokemon. What is happening with me? You're probably stunky. stunky. <laughs> <laughs> of course, he's not looking too impressed. He looks like he's probably going to put that stunk to good use. And I was his friend in the background. <laughs> yeah, he's ready to back him up, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so he has one move, poison gas. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned and that does 10 damage. We're weak to fighting type. So from its rear, it sprays a foul smelling liquid at opponents it aims for their faces and it can hit them from over 16 feet away so you have better have some good distance between He's you and Stunky, stunky you up. <laughs> and that brilliant illustration is by Shigenori Nagishi <laughs> and oh. Clefairy have a HP of 60 and we are a psychic type and our class is a fairy Pokemon and oh, it's a lovely like little illustration. I do like that picture. Oh, it's beautiful. Lovely Clefairy. Looks like she's looking out into the universe there. I think so, yeah. It really does. Looks like it's like the space in the background. I do like that. You have Shining Fingers. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep and Magical Shot, which does 10 damage. So we are weak to Steel types. So it is said that happiness will come to those who see a gathering of Clefairy dancing under a full moon. Mm. And this beautiful illustration is by so so. so so again. Because they do very, very, very nice art. Yeah, very nice. I do like their, their artwork. Again, I definitely want to have on the wall. Next, we have Voltorb, the HP of 50, an electric type. It's classed as a ball Pokemon. Again, amazing artwork there. Yeah, caught Voltorb very well there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> angry giving off energy there. Yeah. <laughs> we have one move, Continuous Tumble, which does 20 times damage. Flip a coin until you get tails. This attack does 20 damage for each hex. We're weakness to fighting types. Usually found in power plants, easily mistaken for a Pokeball. It has zapped many people. I bet it has. Hasegawa Psyche is the illustrator for this beautiful image. Yeah. You can imagine it probably just get angry if people keep on trying to throw it at all the Pokeballs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and we have Nose Pass again. Have nose Pass. Beep. Yeah, I thought you were going to beep in there. <laughs> And Bronzor! Oh, Reverse Hollow. As a Reverse Hollow. Very nice. So we have a HP of 60 and we are Steel type. Of course, we are classed as a Bronze Pokemon. And again, we have this beautiful artwork. Yeah, like a reflection, almost. Yeah. Very nice. It looks like it's almost in a hedge maze, actually. Is what yeah, it reminds it does, me of. actually, yeah. <laughs> we have two moves. We have Ram, which does 10 damage, and Speed Die, which does 20. We are weak to Fire types and we're resistance against Grass. So, it appears in ancient ruins, the pattern on its body doesn't come from any culture in the Galar region, so it remains shrouded in mystery. Ooh. And the beautiful illustration is by Midori Harada. Beep. And the final card for this pack is Aegislash. Ooh, nice. So we have a HP of 140, and again we're still type. It evolves from Dewblade, and it's classed as a Royal Sword Pokemon. And again, we have a very beautiful artwork there. Nice. Really well, captures the majesty. Hexagon shapes and that like that in there. Yeah. So, yeah, really, it's different, but I like it. It is, it's very nice. We have an ability, Big Shield. So all of your Pokemon take 30 less damage from your opponent's attacks. After applying weakness and resistance, you can't apply more than one Big Shield ability at a time. And Power Edge, which does 130 damage, that's pretty powerful. We have a weakness against Fire type and resistance against Grass. And in the defensive stance, Aegislash uses its Steel Body and a Force Field of Spectral Power to reduce the damage of any attack. And the beautiful illustration is by Ryuta Fuse. And there we go, it's the final card for that pack. Okay, so on to the final pack. You know, the Rebel Clash. Oh, it's coming the other scissors this time. 
<laughs> You're beginning to scare me now. <laughs> Dangerous relationship. Yeah. Come on, bring us some luck. Let's see what we get. Oh, hey, we got a dark energy to start with. And we got Palisand. Evolves from Sandygast, HP of 140, and it's a psychic type. And it's a Sandcastle Pokemon. And it's coming to get you. Yeah, <laughs> That's what that is. Lured in by the fact it's a Sandcastle. They are it's dangerous. Not that sweet. <laughs> no, no, no. Very dangerous. Do you like the artwork? Like, it does look like it's coming for you. It is. Uh, two moves at a Sand Sink. Discard the top card of your opponent's deck. If this Pokemon has a cursed shovel attached, discard two more cards from the top of your opponent's deck. And super absorption, 90 damage, heal 30 damage from this Pokemon too, not a bad move. Weakness to dark types, resistant to fighting. Once it has whipped up a sandstorm to halt its opponents in their tracks, this terrifying Pokemon snatches away their vitality. See? Dangerous. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to play with that sandcastle. Illustrated by Hasuno. Yeah, you don't want to play with that sandcastle, definitely not. No. <laughs> there we go, trainer card, a stadium this time, a trainer court. Do you believe that's Hop's back garden? It is, It's yeah. family's back garden. Once during each player's turn, that player may put a basic energy card from their discard pile into their hand. Hey, Lampant. Evolves from Litwick. HP of 80, and it's a fire type. And it's a lamp Pokemon, of course. Mm hmm and there it is. Oh, it's uh, not looking very happy there. Yeah, it looks like Does it's it... about to throw down. <laughs> well, um, yeah, no, I'm on about... Uh, oh, that one. That one. In the background there. <laughs> That's what I'm on about. But yeah, it's uh, looking angry, the lamp in this. Mm. Sableye that's not looking uh, too great. Uh, no, it's not. Um, it's looking a bit scared. Ability is top entry. Once during your turn, if you drew this Pokemon from your deck at the beginning of your turn and your bench isn't full, before you put it into your hand, you may put it onto your bench. And reignite, which is 20 damage. Attach a fire energy card from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon. Not bad. Weakness to water type. This Pokemon appears just before someone passes away. So it's feared as an emissary of death. That's yeah, why I say the lie is not a happy bunny. <laughs> <laughs> um, illustrated by Kyoko Umamoto. There we go, I'll get it right. Yeah. Next one. Is it Dreepy? HP is 60. And it's a psychic type. And it's a lingering Pokemon. And it's just coasting through the waves there. Doing dreepy things. Has <laughs> <laughs> it got a move quick attack? 10 plus damage. Flip a coin. If heads, this attack does 10 more damage. Weakness to dark type, resistant to fighting. After being reborn as a ghost Pokemon, Dreepy wanders the areas it used to inhabit back when it was alive in prehistoric seas. Oh, it's poor dead ghost Pokemon, Dreepy. But he's enjoying himself. It seems okay. Illustrated by Akira Kamiyama. Very nice. My well, Snova, HP of 90 and a grass type. It's a frost tree Pokemon. I was wondering whose drugs are these? <laughs> <laughs> I, they're not mine. <laughs> so he doesn't know. some detective work. Uh, detective Snova, that's what you'll be, not Detective Pikachu. <laughs> Two moves, beat 20 damage and raise a leaf 50. And it's a weakness to fire. It lives on snow mountains. It sinks its legs into the snow to absorb water and keep its own temperature down. It was illustrated by Shibuzo. Then we get to the end of that. You'll know whose footprint that is. Yeah. It's a binacle. HP of 80, fighting type. And that's a two-handed Pokemon. It's chilling at the bottom of the sea, by the looks of it. Yes, that's coral. Yeah, taking a nap. Yeah, having a nice sleep. It's one move, dual chop, 50 times damage. Flip two coins, this attack does 50 damage for each head. It's a weakness to grass type. After two binacle find a suitably sized rock, they adhere themselves to it and live together. They cooperate to gather food during high tide. It's illustrated by Saya Suruta. Very nice. Hey, Durimaka. we got Do Galarian Dorimaka again. 
Oh, oh lovely Vulpix. HP is 60, it's a fire type. I need our fox Pokemon. And it's a cutie. You can't help but go, aww. Yes. Has it even got its little tongue sticking Yeah, it has a little tongue sticking out. Oh. <laughs> it is a cutie. Two moves, Confuse Ray, your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. And Smash Kick, 20 damage. The weakness to water type. While young, it has six gorgeous tails. When it grows, several new tails are sprouted. It's illustrated by Sui. Oh, you boo pigs. Yay! <laughs> There's the nine tails. Evolves from full picks. HP of 120. Fire type and a fox Pokemon. And it's a lovely reverse hollow as well. Absolutely. Look at that picture there. Of all, wow. Um, Vulpix, as I say, nine tails looking out into the uh, into the night. Uh, I thought it was a cityscape. It's not. I think that might be volcanoes, like lava or something. Okay. It's beautiful. Yeah. There's a fire type, so maybe it is. But yeah, it's a beautiful artwork. Two moves. Hex, 30 plus damage. If your opponent's active Pokemon is affected by a special condition, this attack does 90 more damage. And flickering flames, 90 damage. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. It's weak to water types. It is said to live a thousand years, and each of its tails is loaded with supernatural powers. It's illustrated by Akira Igawa. Lovely, lovely card there. Beautiful card. And the final one is a Whiskash. Evolves from Barboach. HP of 140, and it's a fighting type. It's Whiskers Pokemon. It's like a, it's a big grumpy catfish there. It is a big grumpy Just catfish. Sitting in the bottom of a river. Like a big grumpy catfish. Big, yeah, <laughs> yeah, in our tank, yeah. yeah um, its ability is submerge. As long as this Pokemon is on your bench, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks. And Earthquake, 140 damage. This attack also does 20 damage to each of your bench Pokemon. Ooh. Wow, that's not bad. Well, the 20 damage to your bench Pokemon is not great. Oh, but no. Weaknesses to grass types. It makes its nest at the bottom of swamps. It will eat anything if it is alive. Whiskash will eat it. That sounds terrible. It will eat anything if it is alive. <laughs> <laughs> Illustrated by Kawaiu. Yeah, there he is. Grumpy catfish to end on there. <laughs> so, there we go. That's the final card. That's it. Okay, so let's just have a quick overview of what we got out of the packs today. Obviously, we had the lovely Umbreon coin up there. And we had the brilliant Sandaconda V card. Love that, love that boy. And the lovely Ninetales Reverse Hollow and the Reverse Hollow Bronzor there. Mm -hmm. And Kirsty's boy, oh, the yeah, Quasar, is a lovely Hollow too. So, not too bad. I'm happy with that at the uh, Rebel Clash booster packs there. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. Hit that like button, subscribe, and ring that bell. And we shall look forward to seeing you here next time at the, the Little, Little Pokestop. Pokestop. Bye, Bye, guys. See you next time.